justice they heed to my cry listen to my prayer from lips without guile from you let my vindication come Your eyes see what is right You have tested my heart You searched it in the night You have tried me by fire But find no malice in me My mouth has not transgressed As others often do As your lips have instructed me I have kept from the way of the lawless My steps have kept to your paths my have not faltered. I call upon you, answer me, my God. Turn your ear to me, hear my speech, show your wonderful mercy. Seek refuge from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who despoil me. My ravenous enemy. Press upon me. They close their hearts, they fill their mouths with proud roaring. Their steps seem to now encircle me, they watch closely, keeping low to the ground. Like lions eager for prey Like a young lion lurking in ambush Rise, O Lord, confront and cast them down Rescue my soul from the wicked Slay them with your sword, with your hand Lord, slay them, snatch them from the world in their prime. Their bellies are being filled with your friends. Their children are satisfied too. For they share what is left with their young. I am just, let me see your face When I awake, let me be filled with your presence I call upon you, answer me, my God Turn your ear to me, hear my speech Show your wonderful mercy, you who deliver with your right arm. Those who seek refuge from their foes, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shelter of your wings. 
from the wicked who despoil me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with us all. of Judges. After some time in the season of the wheat harvest, Samson visited his wife, bringing a young goat. But when he said, let me go into my wife's room, her father would not let him go in. He said, I thought you hated her, so I gave her to your best man. Her younger sister is better, you may have her instead. Samson said to him, This time I am guiltless if I harm the Philistines. So Samson went and caught three hundred jackals. Turning them tail to tail, he took some torches and tied one between each pair of tails. He then kindled the, tor <laughs> kindled the torches and set the jackals loose and the standing grain of the Philistines, thus burning both the shocks and standing grain, the vineyards and olive groves. When the Philistines asked, who has done this? They were told, Samson, the son-in-law of the Timonite, because his wife was taken and given to his best man. So the Philistines went up and destroyed her and her family by fire. Samson said to them, if this is how you act, I will not stop until I have taken revenge on you. And he struck them hip and thigh, a great slaughter. Then he went down and stayed in the cleft in the crag of Edom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. not be provoked by evildoers. Do not envy those who do wrong. Like grass they wither quickly, like green plants they wilt away trust in the lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and live secure find your delight in the lord who will give you your heart's desire Trust in him and he will act And make your righteousness shine like the dawn Your justice like noonday Trust in the Lord and do good That you may dwell in the schemers 
Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and live secure. Find your delight in the Lord who will give you your heart's desires. Refrain from anger, abandon not be provoked, it only brings harm. Those who do evil will be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord will inherit the earth. Trust in the Lord and do good that you reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Hence now, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has freed you from the law of sin and death. For what the law weakened by the flesh was powerless to do, this God has done by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for the sake of sin. He condemned sin in the flesh so that the righteous decree of the law might be fulfilled in us who live not according to the flesh but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh are concerned with the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit with the things of the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. that it hated me first. If you belonged to the world, the world would love its own. 
but because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they would also keep yours. And they would do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin. But as it is, they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me also hates my father. If I had not done works among them that no one else ever did, they would not have sinned. But as it is, they have seen and both hated me and my father. But in order that the word written in their law might be fulfilled, they hated me without cause. just like Jesus. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please, Lord Jesus, and join us now to you spiritually. We are children of the Spirit, not of the flesh. Your word is a substance we crave. But pour your Spirit into us so we may be united with you and be counted among those who are saved. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.